so it's currently quarter past 10 um in the morning i've actually been up since half past eight i can't actually be love of being sat in my bed for two hours doing absolutely nothing but i've been i woke up like super tired but you know when you just don't want to go back to sleep that's how i was feeling like i want to kind of make the most of the day even though i have no plans um i don't know what i'm going to be getting up to today i don't really know if i'm going to be vlogging much today but to start off i need to sort out my bedroom with all the clothes that i did in the shoot yesterday um i had like a full list of stuff that i wanted to do when i got home last night from the shoot and i ended up doing absolutely none of it um so that's what needs to be kind of sorted today a little bit not all of it because i'd planned like quite a big list um on my phone like on my notes of stuff that i wanted to do um <clears throat> a lot of them were like pictures so i wanted to get done a lot of um instagram kind of promo which is just gonna have to wait because i'm not wearing makeup today i don't feel like wearing makeup today i've done shoots for the past like two days um i've not had like a no makeup day for a, for a while maybe like well more than usual recently so i want to kind of like probably do a little bit of a pamper day today i'm thinking um I watched half of the Caroline Fleck documentary last night and then I ended up getting really tired and fell asleep. So I'm going to watch the other half of that today. Um, I also watched Coronation Street because I had a few TV shows to watch. Um, but basically today I'm going to watch the rest of the Car Fla Caroline Fleck documentary. It was so sad when I was watching it last night so I want to watch the rest of that today. Um, I've got some Facebook stuff. I've got some stuff for sale that I need to put on Facebook. Um, it sounds really random, but I've got like loads of books. I had like bedroom stuff which is sold already, which is really good. I think someone's coming to collect something today. Um, and then I've got like loads of books, but obviously like charity shops aren't open because I would just take them there. But like I don't know what to do because I don't want to put them in the bin. But we have no space in the garage like at all, so I need to do something with them. So I'm thinking of just either putting them on Facebook Marketplace for free or like a very low price because there's like 20 books and I, they cost me a lot of money. So yeah, that's the next thing. And then um, I've also got some like kitchen stuff to put on Facebook. Like I've got a brand new kettle, a brand new mic, not microwave, a brand new toaster, um, just some bits like that that I got sent a long time ago and I've never used. And I have like no set in stone plans to move out yet because of COVID and jobs and money and all that kind of thing. Like I want to buy, not rent. So I'm going to stay at home for like probably another year. So um, there's no point in me keeping the stuff because I also probably won't use it when I actually get my kitchen anyway. Um, so that's kind of like little things I need to do today. Um, I also need to sort out all my clothes that I was talking about. I've got a pretty little thing returned to do. Um, if I spin you around can see down there i've got my pretty little thing returned to do i need to decide what clothes i'm keeping from that i've got clothes to put away nice bra just chilling there everything in the in the green bag is from the shoot that needs to put away like this dress needs putting away and stuff like that as well Apart from that my room's pretty tidy but i actually want to show you my lamp that i got from doll dollhouse decor i think it is it arrived yesterday when i was at my shoot my mum was in luckily so um, she got it, so I need to order a lamp, uh, not a lamp, a, a light bulb from Amazon. Um, but it matches my cushions perfectly. And when it arrived just I was like, oh my god, that is so much bigger than I expected. Because, do you remember the first one that I showed you from Amazon that I actually got? It was like £10 cheaper. And I was like, do you know what, I'm just going to get that because I'm not too fussy. And it looked pretty much the same. But when that one arrived, it was tiny. It was like really, really low. It was like this low. And I'm really small. And this one is so tall and actually really big like i've not fastened this on it or anything but like it is so huge like i don't know if i just think this is huge but like it's taken up a lot of my bedside table because i can't really i don't I want it to be quite like not minimal but like i don't want loads of clutter everywhere so i've had to move the books up there which don't look too bad but i do have like a flower display coming soon for there so we might have to have a little shuffle around um but it's not plugged in or anything because i don't actually have a, a, a bulb in it which i was meant to order last night and totally forgot off amazon so it could have come for today um but yeah that's not gonna happen so so yeah basically i'm super hungry so i'm gonna go downstairs and get um a tea make some food probably have like brunch or whatever because i've not really been like eating much i've not really been having like breakfast lunch you know i've been having like breakfast and tea or like you know what i mean like i've not really been having big meals because i've not really been going anywhere but um i checked my steps last 
I checked my steps for yesterday on the shoot and I went over 15,000 steps on my shoot and for me that is a lot like for other people they'll be like that's what I do in a day but like considering we're in lockdown and considering like we've not I've not walked anywhere or done anything um barely even left the house um that is a lot of steps for me so yeah I'm actually happy I got that done um, my legs and my bum are severely aching today I'm not gonna lie um, but yeah, let's go make some breakfast. This is what was on Facebook and apparently the person who's bought it, I mean mum's been organising it for some reason because I think she'd be a bit bored. But um, she's coming to collect that today because I actually bought it from the range like ages ago and it just was taking up too much space in my room and just wasn't using it. So um, yeah, I decided to sell like a few kind of unnecessary bits in my bedroom um, because I kind of wanted more of a minimal, minimal, can't say that word, minimalistic vibe not like obviously it's not a very minimalistic bedroom but you guys know what i mean so these are my new york cookies that i made um there's four left i think i made seven i can't remember but obviously they've gone like hard i made them two days ago but you need to put them back in the microwave for like five seconds or something and then they go soft again um because when i had them they were really really soft so you bite into them and um nutella comes out of the middle i was so proud of these even though it was my first attempt they're not perfect i know they're not they're a little bit messy you know i should have put more chocolate chips in because this one is pretty good but like that there's not enough chocolate chips on there so like I bought more chocolate chips last night from Tesco um, and put everything in here. There's my little bacon shelf. Everything's in here. So I bought three lots of chocolate chips, two milk and one dark. So I'm hoping that that's enough. I, I wasn't really sure. Like Tesco is so expensive. It's like £1.50 for this. And I was like, that is so expensive. Like Morrison's, Morrison's and Aldi would not be that expensive. <laughs> but um, yeah, I bought them. And then what else did I buy? I once tried a Biscoff one actually. Um, and then everything else I bought, I can't even find it, but I just bought like baking powder, you know, the boring kind of stuff that I think is down here somewhere. But um, yeah, I'm gonna make a tea and then side one for breakfast. breakfast um i was gonna make toast but i ended up making a hot cross bun so that's that was that is um and then i just got some melon and strawberries and a tea so this is breakfast for today but probably brunch because you know this is probably gonna fill me up <laughs> so today i'm doing something a little bit different and i'm making biscoff and nutella um new york stuff cookies so i'm really excited about this so i'm gonna be filming a little like video while i do them i don't have much biscoff spread so I can only do three Biscoff, one, two, three, four, and six Nutella. But I can do more Nutella, so I'll probably end up doing more. But I still have like four in there, so I don't want to overload my fam because um, they won't eat them all. But I'm determined to make these the best that they've been. So I've got the baking powder and stuff I bought yesterday. These are for the Biscoff, so it's going to be Biscoff and white chocolate, um, which sound amazing. And then I have dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and Nutella with little bunnies on top. So that is what I'm planning for. Hopefully they go okay. So I'm going to pop these in the freezer now um, and get back to you in about half an hour. This is the recipe that I'm following. It is the New York City chocolate chip cookies on Jane's Patisserie. Obviously I'm changing it a little bit, but I'm hoping to get about the same amount of chocolate chip cookies, uh, chocolate chips, because mine just didn't have as many chocolate chips in when I did mine. Um, so hopefully I've got enough this time. Um, so yeah, I literally just follow this recipe, but I'm going to be adding... Um, the nutella like in the middle um because she doesn't have nutella in hers so that is what i'm going to be doing so you literally scroll all the way down literally all the way down and then it gives you the recipe um so while the nutella and biscoff fillings are in the freezer um i'm going to get on and make this
So first steps are complete which is butter and sugar so there's brown sugar white sugar and butter in here so i'm going to beat these one thing i really need to buy is an electric hand mixer or an electric mixer just something like that because this is the bit that kills me i hate this bit <laughs> This is what we've currently got and that was actually easier than I thought. It's the flour bit that's the hard part. Um, so now I'm going to add in one egg and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we've got flour, bicarbonate of soda, baking powder and salt um, in here so I'm going to mix it all together. This is the bit that I absolutely hate. I find it so time consuming and so hard um, to mix it but this is what's going to make the cookie dough. And then I've got all the chocolate chips ready. I cannot believe this many chocolate chips makes these cookies. Like I can't believe it. I Literally all the ones I bought yesterday um, because I didn't actually measure them. And then these are for the biscoff but I don't think I'm going to have enough white chocolate so... I don't really know what I'm going to do with that one. I guess it'll just be a less sickly one because I don't really want to put like the other chocolate in it. So yeah, let's see how this goes. So these are actually looking so good but honestly this just seems like an obscene amount of chocolate chip cookies but I assume that's what they're meant to look like um, and then these are the white chocolate ones which look so good as well um, obviously there's less because I don't have as many Biscoff uh, Biscoff fillings for the inside so now I'm going to roll these into balls and freeze them I just realised I almost did it wrong so I've just taken these fillings out of the freezer because they're hard well they're almost hard um, so I'm going to roll them into a ball and put these inside
I've done my chocolate chip ones and these look incredible compared to last time. I was pretty proud of them but now these, like now I understand why you need so many chocolate chips. Like I could have definitely made more cookies if I made smaller ones but I want these to be massive. Like I really want to try and make massive ones. So that is why. Um, so yeah, these balls could have definitely gone in two or some, some of them even three, like probably even that one three, but I want them to be massive so that's why I've made them like this because I want the massive New York style ones. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the white chocolate ones now with the Biscoff. If we run out of Biscoff, then I'm just going to make um, uh, some plain like white chocolate ones, but hopefully I'll have enough Biscoff. So we're all ready to go in the oven now for about 17 minutes. I'm gonna keep them in ball shape so hopefully they kind of rise, not go flat. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed that these are gonna be amazing. These are absolutely huge. So we've got the white ones and the chocolate chip ones. They actually look so good, I'm really happy with them. So I'm gonna wait until they cool and then I can do like the Biscoff spread on top with a Biscoff biscuit and stuff like that. Obviously not. they're not as high as I expected. I thought they'd go taller. Um, this one, the Biscoff is literally coming out of. They look so good though, like I'm really happy with them. So yeah, I'll get back to you when they've called and we can decorate. These cookies are the <laughs> nicest thing I've ever tasted, especially these ones. So this one like came out ruined and this one came out ruined. So I've used these as my little testers because I don't personally want to eat a full one anyway. Like I literally had a little bite of each and I do not want any more. Like this could be a meal. Probably more than that. This is more than a dessert. This is like you could share this cookie with like three people, honestly. Um, so yeah, I literally just had the corner of this and oh my God, it was insane. Like the caramel, the melted white chocolate, the Biscoff in the middle, it is incredible. 
these two have stayed put which is amazing i put them in for 14 minutes this time so they're still like a little bit soft which is nice but obviously they're cooling now so they'll stay where they are and then i just put a little bit of biscoff spread put biscoff cookie on top with caramel sauce so that is them ones these are me to a tea like i love stuff like this and then these are for my chocolate people so like Lots of people I know are going to absolutely love these. I'm more of a white chocolate person, but loads of people are going to love these. So these are milk chocolate and dark chocolate chips. Absolutely loads of them um, with Nutella inside, chocolate sauce on top, um, and then a little Easter bunny. So super cute. But this is like what it's looking like. And oh my God, literally food porn. It looks incredible. It tastes incredible. Personally, I prefer these ones. But people who look, prefer chocolate are going to love these ones. So yeah, oh my God. I'm so happy I made them again because these are such an improvement over the first ones I did. Like these ones are so much better and they're only going to keep getting better. Um, and I can do loads of different flavoured ones, so it's going to be so fun to try them all out. But these are easier than making cupcakes because these don't take half as much decorating. And that is a bit that drives me insane because I'm very... I like to get things done fast. I don't like waiting around. It annoys me when, it, when things go wrong. Like, piping bags annoy me so much. So these, the fact that they can be a bit lo little bit messy like... This isn't neat, but it looks insane and it tastes insane. And that's what makes me happy, so... Yeah. <laughs>